And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and something very interesting from the guys over at the Chip Hell forums and reported on by video cards is something very interesting regarding Vega 56. Now, we already know that custom BIOSes on the Vega cards aren't possible due to security features built into the GPU, but we've yet to see whether it could be unlocked from a Vega 56 to a Vega 64 using an official BIOS. Well, it appears that it doesn't quite unlock, but you can load the vBIOS from the Vega 64 onto a Vega 56. Essentially overclocking the card, it doesn't unlock it, but it does rather allow it to run at Vega 64 clock rates. And you may think, well, why don't you just overclock it? Well, the truth is it is voltage locked to a certain degree that keeps it from being able to reach Vega 64 levels, which seems to be more of an artificial limit at this point. So what does that mean for people who have the Vega 56 are willing to throw out their <laughs> their um, warranty and o unlock and overclock this video card to a certain degree. Well, it appears to get an additional 10% performance bump, Le you know, leaving it only about 2% slower than the Vega 64 at when left at stock clocks and surpassing it, of course, the Vega 64 at stock, being able to surpass it once it's unlocked and overclocked. So the results that we have here are the ones that were posted for Firestrike Extreme. Starting with the Vega 56 at default clocks gets you a graphic score of 9,428 points, but with the Flash BIOS bumps that up to 10,340, nearly a ooh, near, nearly a hundred or nearly a thousand points uh, increase rather. Now, comparatively, the Vega 64 at default clocks gets 10,479, which is barely faster than the Vega 56 with the Flash BIOS, and the Vega 56 with the Flash BIOS and an OC pulls it in at 11,322 ahead of a reference of default clock Vega 64, which is fairly impressive for a you know $100 savings over the other ones of course you know current pricing withstanding due to availability and yada 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 but that you know that that nets it nearly a 20 percent performance advantage once flashed and overclocked of course you do give up your warranty to do that but it is interesting to see that you can get that kind of performance increase so what are your thoughts on this uh what do you think about flashing the card are you bummed out that it doesn't unlock like previous cards like the 290 to the 290x and the 7950 to the 7970 but either either way seeing a good bump in performance is nice to see uh we're just minutes away from having our vega 56 delivered and this is definitely something we'd like to try out provided you guys were interested in seeing it so if you are interested let us know in the comment section below if you found the video entertaining or informative whatsoever feel free to like and subscribe this has been keith with wccf tech tv and we'll catch you in the next video